West Virginia University, the Mountaineers, named for the people whose spirit of adventure and curiosity led them to chart the frontiers of the past. Today, the West Virginia University Team Mountaineers continues this tradition as we push forth to the frontiers of the future. The mechanical system was designed to transport the other subsystems and interact with the environment to complete competition tasks. The mechanical design is hallmarked by a triple bogey drivetrain that was selected through the prototyping of several preliminary designs. The arm is five degrees of freedom, consisting of a motor at the base, rotational servo at the wrist, and three linear actuators. The arm is able to rotate a full 360 degrees and can lift eight kilograms. The end effector is interchangeable to various tasks, such as a hook and a gripper. Two 40 volt, 40 amp hour batteries supply power to main rover systems, with one 12 volt, 3 amp hour battery dedicated to the arm and manipulator. In order to navigate, the rover features encoders GPS and a 9 axis IMU. For telemetry, the rover is to have both a mast mounted camera and an additional arm mounted camera to provide better perspective for interacting with the environment. A primary characteristic to the design is a 16-point solid-state LiDAR system. This was chosen for obstacle avoidance due to its lower computational requirements. The rover carries custom-made power board, data acquisition board, and motor control board, all integrated into a computer. Communications will operate off of two separate bands. The primary band will be 2.4 GHz, which will stream video and control signals. The secondary 900 MHz band will simultaneously transmit lower quality video and redundant control signals. If 2.4 GHz becomes unreliable, communications will operate from the 900 MHz band. If signal is lost entirely, the rover will begin autonomous operation to regain signal. Programming of the rover thus far has been conducted on a proxy development platform provided by the WVU Interactive Robotics Laboratory. ROS, the Robot Operating System, is used for software development because of its modularity and large community. This has allowed us to begin development and testing of key teleoperation and autonomy functions including waypoint navigation, obstacle avoidance, mission planning and application of computer vision techniques that will be implemented into the main rover. During autonomous traversal task, a notification of the target location will be transmitted to the rover. The rover will follow a control policy map while reactively avoiding obstacles to reach the goal. When the rover is in proximity of the goal, it will begin driving in a randomized trajectory using computer vision to search for the marker. After detection of the marker, the rover will use visual servoing to drive towards the goal until the rover is within 2 meters. The rover will explore the potential of life as we know it. How do we define life as we know it? Life is composed of four basic complex molecules, nucleotides, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, all carbon-based. Environments suitable for life include moisture, presence of certain minerals such as clay, and loose material to allow for the growth of plants and microbes. The rover is equipped with sensors to measure soil moisture and temperature, and cameras to document geology. If suitable conditions for life are determined, Team Mountaineers will proceed to analyze samples to detect the presence of proteins via a ninhydrin reagent test. How do you zoom? How do I zoom? The thing. I got it. I'm the best.